When I want to create an assignment that is an Edpuzzle integrated assignment, the first thing I need to do is actually go to Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle should be connected to our Canvas account because our district now has a pro account. And so you don't need to worry about connecting Edpuzzle. However, you do need to go to Edpuzzle to create your videos. And right now I'm in the My Content section. I have a bunch of folders as well as videos that I haven't organized in folders on this page. Um, you want to make sure that you have a video here that you want to use in assigning Canvas. And I will have a link to how to create videos um, in the notes to this video. However, once you create a video, you do not need to share it or assign it to a class. You do not need to go to my classes at all and set up any classes. Because of how you are going to assign it through Canvas, you don't need to worry about the classes whatsoever. So just make sure you have a video created. I'm going to use this video here, Austin's Butterfly, on peer feedback in my example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Canvas and I am going to write an assignment title. You can have directions for your students how many points you want the assignment worth, any of those sorts of general information. Um, you are going to need a due date, whatever that might be. Now, the submission type. So you want to choose external tool. Then you're going to click on find. And then you're going to scroll down until you get to Edpuzzle. And it's, um, I believe, the one that says Pro Trial. That one is new for me. So um, it's not a trial right now, but we should have that connected. If you don't see Pro Trial, just choose the Edpuzzle one. So what I need to do first is just, it will give me this kind of pop-up. I'm going to say Get Started. I am a teacher, and I'm going to sign in with my Google account and make sure that I sign in with my school Google account. Now, I, this is that my content page that I showed you on Edpuzzle. So it's here with all my videos. So here's the video I want to use, the Austin's Butterfly. I'm going to click on the eyeball. It says watch, but this is how you assign it. And you could just preview it to make sure it's what you want. And then you're going to press assign. Then it says you're about to assign this video to your the name of your course. This happens to be the name of the course I'm using. And you have two choices. Prevent skipping prevents students from jumping ahead in the video. So I always have that on. And because all my videos, like I mentioned, I post into YouTube first, they will have closed captioning available. So I'm going to turn on closed captioning. Now, if you got a video from someone else or one of the other tools, you might click the button that says turn on closed captions, but if there was no closed captions attached to that video, students won't be able to see that. Then I'm going to press assign. And then I'm going to press select. And here it doesn't look like anything has happened. I don't see anything up in here, but I do see this link here and that's good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press save. You can press save and publish, but I always like to save at first just to double check everything's okay before I make it go live for my students. And this is the teacher view of this now. And I can see um, the video. And it says it's a little lonely in here. That's because I haven't had any students actually complete this assignment yet. But when that happens, you will see a list of your students. You'll see a um, like a, a menu or a bar that shows how far the students have gone in the video. If they haven't started watching it, it's all red. If it's um, they started watching, you'll see kind of a gr um, it will turn green when they get near the end. So you'll see the progress that they're made. And then you could also look at the questions. And there will be a button once students have submitted it. If there's any short answer items, you will have a link to click on where you can grade those short answer items. And it's super quick and easy to grade. And it automatically goes into your grade book. So if you had questions that were just multiple choice, it will automatically go to your grade book in Canvas. 
Um, the one thing that's a little weird is that each question in Canvas is worth 10 points. So if you had, I think I had two open-ended questions here. So I would see in this view that it's worth 20 points. But I believe on my assignment, I made it only worth five points. So what would happen if a student got a 20 out of 20? In the gradebook, it would say a five out of five. If a student got a 10 out of 20, in the gradebook, it would show a 2.5. So it does the math for you to kind of convert the um, fractions, just because all other questions are generally, are always um, 10 points. So I'm ready to publish it now. I'm gonna press save and publish, and then my students will be able to view this video right in Canvas. They don't need to sign into Edpuzzle. They're just signing into Canvas, going to the assignment, and then they can watch the video and answer any questions that occur there.